Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, episode number 153 on this fine Tuesday. Hope you guys are all doing well. Obviously, at the very start of this episode, just want to say a huge thanks for all of the support recently. It's been absolutely mental. Now, I know that I've had some crazy pack luck over the last three, four weeks, um, and the team has transformed into something monstrous. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that, you are, you guys have obviously been loving it because the, the thumbs up, the support, the subscribers, all of that stuff is just going in an upward direction, and I really, really appreciate it. If you could keep that going, keep the hype train flowing by smashing a thumbs up and aiming for 5,000 likes today, that would be insane. And of course, subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. Um, so yeah, those of you that maybe haven't tuned in for a few weeks, probably wondering what the hell is going on with my crazy team. Yes, this is still a free-to-play squad. Uh, Curtis Jones. So I started with him on basic, just to, to, to you know learn the ropes with him a little bit. Uh, and then I decided that because he was going to be my like slightly more attacking centre mid, I'll go with an engine. Uh, because yes, I noticed that he was a little bit clunky because we did choose the centre mid version, who's got like 84 dribbling or something. He's quite tall, He's uh, uh, and I feel like he feels a quite strong stocky in game so he's not going to be the most fluid player uh, but he's certainly incredibly well-rounded and you also might have just noticed there that we uh we switched it back to or not switched it back we switched my center backs so that Carlos Alberto goes back out to the right back and we're actually going to play Kleiber at center back after some great recommendations from you lot saying that Kleiber is a beast at CB so we'll give it a go and we'll see if that can improve us because obviously I mean yesterday it didn't go too bad but the day before was uh Pretty tragic, losing four games in a row. Uh, so what we are right now, I think we're like eight and... Are we eight and seven? I don't know. I can't really remember exactly where we're at. Um, but hey, we know we, we've still got a whole bunch of wins to get if I'm going to get up to this 14. Uh, and, you know, I found myself 2-0 down in a game. Well, you know, give Ronaldo a couple of opportunities. Or, I mean, he, he, he crosses it into Rooney there. And that's just a sublime finish from the Englishman. Um, but, yeah, we find ourselves back at 2 all, And then 33 minutes on the clock, I've managed to turn the game around. Ronaldo with the lucky rebound. Uh, but, hey, we'll take it, right? We've conceded plenty of those against us this weekend. Uh, so, whenever it happens for you, you just got to take it and move on. Uh, but my opponent gets a nice little ball in there. Uh, defender not chasing Dybala properly and Dybala scores the goal because he is great. I feel a little bit bad about dropping him, you know, but I've just got so many cool players I want to use. Uh, we're in a very, uh, we're in one of those very first world problem scenarios where I've got too many cool players that I don't, I don't have space for all of them in my team. If not, I'll literally be running like eight attackers, which is going to be even worse for my, uh, my leaky back line that concedes all the time. Um, so this game is 5-3 at half time. Yeah, that's right. Uh, gone back to old gen. And uh, the goals are flowing at either end. And we've had 12 opportunities in the first half. So we're creating, which uh, feels good. I'm not going to lie. But again, you kind of expect that. My, re my record is pretty poor for like my standards, I guess. Uh, so I was expecting, hopefully, a few easier games. Uh, so 6-3 up after Ronaldo tucks the penalty away. A good little uh, composure there from Dybala to just stop and not shoot instantly. And, of course, he gets the free goal with my uh, my terrible keeper movement happening. Um, but we can restore our three-goal lead in the 69th minute with uh, with Wayne Rooney. Oh, by the way, you guys seem to absolutely love the Eminem reference in Sunday's first video. So I just want to say I appreciate those of you that have... Uh, that have watched 8 Mile, and it's just an absolute classic of a film. Uh, so we end up winning this game right at the end. Well, not right at the end. We were already quite a few goals up, but we win 9-4, scoring right at the end there. Um, great result. Obviously, big for the motivation because you score nine goals. You're probably feeling like you've just absolutely obliterated someone. So that brings me up to nine wins, nine and seven. Let's try and get this record a bit better. This is what you don't come up against on next gen, ever. I, I don't think it ever happens. Um, a squad of full golds in February. Like, that's a little bit unheard of. I mean, yeah, this team is like a nice Prem team, but it's obviously nowhere near the level of what my squad is. Um, I don't know if this is someone that maybe got the game for Christmas or just, like, doesn't put as much time as a, as a full-time YouTuber into it. How dare he? Um, but, yeah, like... Uh, it, it just wasn't the, the, the craziest of squads. Uh, it was fairly, like, average for this stage of the game. Um, and a, 
like, was it 2-0 or 3-0? 2-0, he decides to quit. I uh, don't blame him. Um, we were pretty mismatched, and I did have the majority of the uh, the possession and shots and everything at the at the very start of the game. Uh, so, with that, we actually unlock this Reina. I'm not going to be going for this. Uh, I'll do the squad battles one, the Cucurella? Cucurella? No, I'm not sure how you pronounce the name. I'm going to do the squad battles one because he looks like a pretty good centre mid, um, you know, with a position change there at left mid. Uh, and then this Reina. Yeah, I think the end one looks very good. i just not a massive fan of, like, managerial masterpiece. In all honesty, it just seems like a lot of games, um, and I don't fancy it. It's simple as that, really. I, 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 my attack is just better, isn't it? We've just got so many crazy strikers and stuff. Um, I'll go for the squad battles one, though, so we've got another cool player. Even if it's just for fodder or whatever, I'll just do it over the next couple of days, chilling, talking to my mates, playing squad battles, not getting stressed out. That is the type of FIFA life that I aspire to live. So, um yeah, I hope you guys are similar. Uh, but you can let me know in the comments if you have managed to get that uh, Dortmund attacker and how good he actually is. Because his stats do look very, very good. Um, and props to you if you've got the the motivation in you to put the effort in to grind that one out. Uh, so we go into a new game here. This guy's got Red Ronaldo. He's got Curtis Jones. He's got Mbappe. He's got Dybala, Messi, the, the, the classic meta backline as well. Um, so I was expecting a tough old match, not going to lie. But I'm, I can't remember if he did or did it. I'm pretty sure this guy paused like three times. I reckon like the doorbell went or something and he couldn't really play. Um, because it was a bit odd. He kept just like passing it out of play and then pausing it. So eventually with the one nil up, uh, he ends up just dashboarding and quitting. So I think maybe uh, someone came around his house and he was a bit busy or something. I don't think that was like a genuine rage quit. But hey, I'll take it. A nice easy 1-0. Again, something you don't seem to get on next gen. Uh, and we bring our win tally up to 11. All right, excellent. So I stopped there for a little bit. Hence this screen. And then I came back to do another little session later on. After I'd made some pizzas for my family in the, in the pizza oven and stuff. Which is uh, still one of my favorite things to do. As you can probably tell from... All of my chins. But <laughs> to the next game we go. Uh, we come up against a uh, a viewer. A, a viewer. I didn't. Uh, I did know at the time actually. He messaged me before the game. Like paused it a couple of times at the start and just said, "Are you lasty?" I said, "Yes, mate, I am." Uh, and he proceeded to go two 0 up. And I was like, "Oh, <laughs> I thought maybe if I answered saying yes, I'm lasty, you'll just give me a one nil rage quit win." Uh, it's not the case, and that's totally fine, of course. Uh, but yeah, I was two 0 down to Eusebio after like six minutes. Uh, and then when 13, 14 minutes comes along and I find myself 3-0 down, I I did contemplate like quitting against this guy. But then since he'd already said, are oh, you last? I guess maybe one wanted to showcase his ability and play me and stuff. So I thought, All right, you know what, I'll stick it for the 90 minutes um, just so we can play. And I can't believe that, that chance right there hasn't gone in. I was flabbergasted, not going to lie. Uh, and we, we had a, a pretty solid chance with Ronaldo to score there, but we don't. But we do get a goal back with him here. Oh, no. We hit the bar again. Jesus, man. I am, uh, yeah, I'm struggling. Uh, but then I think my opponent's Ronaldo hits the bar here. So it was a very, like, for a 3-0 down game, it was very end-to-end. -end and, and there were quite a lot of opportunities for each opponent. Uh, and I get a free kick on the edge of the box just before half time, And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to let Rooney strike this one. And uh, I hit it green, and it goes perfectly in the corner. I think literally in off the post. Uh, so we get one goal back. And that's like a little bit of a lifeline. And considering this game is fairly even, I think it's not it's not without question that we could potentially come back here. Um, but I am 3-1 down. I do need to step my game up. Second half comes around then, and uh, that's a defensive error. I'm not going to lie. That's a big defensive error. And I sort of mess it up because he manages to get all of his defenders back. Uh, but then we hit him with a classic lasty. If you're playing against lasty, you're probably going to get hit by a classic lasty, which is the rainbow flick. Unfortunately, they've nerfed the hell out of it. So the rainbow flick went as an assist to Rooney, who scored the goal. Uh, and then obviously I needed to throw the kitchen sink at him because, again, 10 minutes to go. You're playing last. So you got to expect him to do all the things he does in game, which is throw the kitchen sink at, see, at people. Uh, and that's exactly what I've done. Uh, I get a free kick opportunity again here in the 84th minute. With Wayne Rooney, he moved the goalkeeper to uh, block it over the wall, like the last one that went in. And I just stick it top bins in the left corner this time. Beautiful goal. I haven't scored a free kick in ages. And I've just gone ahead and scored two in one game. 
But unfortunately for me, in the 88th minute, I give a penalty away. And that is effectively going to lose me the game, isn't it? Of course. Um, because he knows that I'm going to go left, right, left, right, and then stay down the middle. Because he watches the videos. Uh, and because I knew that, I actually decided to dive. And I saved the penalty. So we don't lose the game in the 88th minute. Um, but we lose it from the resulting corner. Or do we? Oh, you guys are on strings at the moment, not knowing what's going to happen. Eusebio oh, just gets tackled there. And we can go on the offensive. Bergwijn knocks it through to super sub Dybala. Look at the keeper movement. Oh, he's done it. And I'm going to keep my composure and hit it in at the near post. And I actually win the game 4-3 in the 90th. But GG's to that guy, though. Thank you for watching the videos. I appreciate it. Uh, and what a game we had there. That was that was crazy. I don't know whether you let off the gas a little bit to let me win. If so, I appreciate it. But uh, if not, then like that was just one of the craziest comebacks I've ever done on FIFA. So that was uh, definitely one of the most entertaining games we've had for the series so far. And you played a part of that. Appreciate it. So going on into the next game, then. Well, we, we do start to hit the meta teams now, obviously, because that's just... We are, we, we've now like boosted the form a bit. So, uh, uh, and we are at the latter stages, you know, nearly at the 14 wins. It starts to get a little bit more difficult there sometimes. Uh, so we go 1-0 up. Ronaldo hits him with two little scoots and, uh, and he scores the goal. But uh, Mbappe into Hullet, into Bruno Fernandes, into CR7 and a rebound. Yeah, I mean... You've already saw me, seen me score them this episode, so there's no complaints there. It was good uh, build-up play, actually, from my opponent. Uh, but, you know, so far in this game, no celebrations. Just skip the replays uh, until he scores to go 2-1 up. And then we get the full run, the full celebration. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm going to remember that. Um, <laughs> I'm 2-1 down, so he's turned the game around. Mbappe with a little whacker whacker knocks it into Wayne, not Wayne Rooney, Frank Ribery. I saw the red boots and I thought maybe it was Rooney. Um, but yeah, I take him out. He gets a penalty, steps up with Bruno Fernandes, decides to try and penenka it, and I just I just save it with Pope. So I'm 2-1 down at half time, getting battered on possession, but still a fairly even game in terms of chances. We can claw this one back, I, th I think. I think we can claw it back. Um, however, we go into the second half and like a few minutes in, he manages to just get inside with Cristiano Ronaldo here, knock it into Ribéry and make it 3-1. And uh, again, like full celebration. Okay. Okay, okay. I, I will, I get, once again, I'm going to remember that because I still think I'm going to come back in this one, you know. Scoot with Ronaldo, chip the goalkeeper. We don't chip it. That was the wrong goal. I was thinking of something different. Uh, we smash it in at the near post. And I do a celebration, but it doesn't like zoom in on the camera. And he ends up doing like a headstand or something. And then look at the strength and pace. And oh, it's just beautiful from Rooney there to get me the equalizer. And you know he's going to do his teammate Ronaldo celebration. Sue. Uh, Wayne Rooney doing the sue. I love it. You love to see it. Uh, and then in the 60th minute, we've uh, we've managed to get on the counter-attack here again. Bergvine bottles it. Absolutely bottles it. But look at this. Oh, my God. How lucky is that? That is fortunate. Uh, and what's better than Wayne Rooney doing one Sioux celebration? It's him doing two. Hey, I'm fine. If you can do celebrations against me, I'm going to do it against you if I manage to come back. Uh, so we win the game 4-3. And uh, luckily for us, is that our 14th win or is that our 13th win? Can't even remember. We'll see in a minute when last he presses advance. There we go. That is our 13th win. Oh, probably one more game to go then, guys. Um... We come up against mid Eto, uh, that new centre back, and then Delaney in form, Alessandrini freeze, uh, Hazard freeze. Uh, a nice meta squad. A lot, you know, if the player knows what he's doing with this team, well, we're in for a tough old game, that's for sure. Hazard uh, knocks it into Eto. I mean, what a ball that was. I just didn't see it. A great run from Eto, to be fair. Uh, and he scores the goal. So I'm 1-0 down. But I think I'd had quite a few opportunities so far in this game. So I knew I was likely to get a goal. And it's Ronaldo at the near post. Just banging it in on that left foot. I'm s I mean, anyone would be so confident just to shoot with him on either foot. Especially with the stats that he's got. It's ridiculous. But Rooney out wide to Bergwijn. Back into Rooney again. Another scoot. And this time on the left foot of Rooney. I don't know why he struck it with that. But I'll take it. Because it goes into the roof of the net. And we've turned the game around to go 2-1 up. Rooney to Ronaldo, Ronaldo as we like to call it, and I try and do a lasty special. I don't know if it's broken or I just I've forgotten how to do it. But uh, the last couple of goals I've done like that um, 
have been where it just looks like a little chip in the end. But we score and go 3-1 up. And then I actually chip the goalkeeper with Ronaldo there to get his hat trick. And 4-1 uh, after 41 minutes. He is going to say, see you later. Goodbye. Good night. Good evening. And rage quit. So uh, that's going to be our final game of the weekend league. We managed to end up going 14-7. and seven, Which... Uh, I'm not going to lie, after being 5-5 five and five was quite the turnaround. Obviously, the team did get a little bit better once we brought in like Curtis Jones. Even Ruben Diaz, you know, taking Varane out was a risk because he's very meta and very OP. Um, but I'm not sure I'll go back to him. I'll try not to go back to him because I think it would be interesting now to have like a full special team using like the cool players that I've managed to pack and stuff. Um, and there are centre-backs now that are catching up to the levels of sweat of Varane. Uh, but yeah, and especially playing like Kleiber at centre back, that's great, right? Ruben Diaz, he's not worth the money. He's not worth like four, five hundred k, whatever he's worth. Uh, he feels a little bit like regular Van Dyke, I guess you could say, which is obviously like half the price, less than half the price. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you if you like him as a player, you know, he's obviously one of the best centre backs in the world right now. Uh, then you could always give him a go. He's just expensive for what he is. He's not the rapid, rapid centre back that Varane is or these fullbacks are at centre back. He has got seventy six pace. And it's simple as that. So I list up Carlos Alberto because I was done with my weekend league and I want to spend those coins on someone different this week. Uh, and we nearly break even. I think we sell him for thirty k more than. Uh, then we paid for him, and I think 700k you get 35k tax. So we just lost a tiny bit on him, which is good. We nearly broke even, which I'm I'm very happy with. Sold him for 705, and after tax, obviously we're sat at 685k. So you got to let me know. I've got this position to fill, um, or any of the other positions. I, I kind of love my strike force right now. I don't really want to change it. Uh, so if we can maybe get an icon or somebody into into that spot right there, or if we can figure out the team in a different way, I don't know. You're always welcome to. Uh, to send those squads to me on Twitter again or talk to me in the comment section. I know I may not reply to everyone or, you know, reply to your tweet all the time and stuff, but don't worry. I see everything. I take it all into account and I try and merge it all to build the cool squads for you. Um, so tomorrow we'll be back again with, I don't know what, maybe some rivals, maybe some of that squad battles objective and whatever that stuff is. Uh, to unlock the Spanish guy. Uh, but it, it's the end of the episode. So do me a huge favor and smash the thumbs up. If you haven't done so already. I'm looking for 5,000 likes. And if I come back tomorrow and it hasn't got 5,000 likes. I might shed a tear. And you don't want that to happen do you. So come on hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel as well. If you're new around here. I thank you for that. And, uh, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. They're all popping off right now. I appreciate it so so much. Uh, other than that, I guess just, you know, take it easy, stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy your week, uh, enjoy FIFA, enjoy all of that stuff, and I'll catch you tomorrow with another episode. Peace.